The Growth tab contains a graph representing equity change in percent during the signal lifetime. It allows comparing different signals irrespective of the account equity. Profitability of a signal can be quickly assessed using the red trend line. In the Equity tab, balance and equity change graphs are plotted in real time. Balance operations such as deposits or withdrawals are indicated by red and blue triangles. Details of the balance operation are displayed in a pop-up tip when the cursor hovers over the relevant triangle. The next tab contains a balance graph plotted on the data from the whole history of the account. For convenience, it features a red trend line too. Below the graphs, you can find a block of trade statistics, total number of trades, percent of winning and losing trades, as well as the best and worst trades. Parameters, gross profit and gross loss, reflect the result of winning and loss-making trades for the whole history. If the difference between them is positive, then the signal is profitable. Otherwise, it's loss-making. In the field Maximum Consecutive Wins, you can find the amount of trades in the longest profitable sequence. Maximal Consecutive Profit is the longest profit in a continuous profitable sequence. Clearly, the greater those values are, the better. In the right part of the table, there are the same parameters for loss-making trades, and for consistent signals, they should be minimal. Sharp ratio indicates strategy efficiency and reliability. Successful providers always have it greater than zero. Recovery factor and profit factor for efficient signals are greater than one. Expected payoff displays average profitability in one trade, so the higher its value is, the better. A relation of short and long trades gives an idea of the provider's preferences. Average profit and average loss show the average result of profitable and loss-making deals. The last two parameters show deposit growth for the last 30